Hey guys, it's time for another quick and dirty rotation video. Today's elite spec of choice is Power Reaper. This guide complements the written guide for Reaper I made on the Guild Wars 2 wiki and can be transitioned into a simple yet effective build for open world. I've made a separate video for open world as well, both the links to the written guide and the other video are in the description. Mr. Mystic also has a video on a basically identical rotation out, so make sure to check that video out as well. On Power Reaper, the rotation usually consists of alternating between Reaper's Shroud and Greatsword, with another weapon swap mixed in for a small damage gain. The rotation I use here just alternates between Greatsword and Shroud, simplifying the rotation as you do the same loop every time. We're alternating between Shroud and Greatsword to keep both Soul Barbs and the Relic of Fireworks up. Relic of Fireworks is triggered by Greatsword 4 and 5 and Shroud 4 and 5. Since the buff lasts only 6 seconds, we're spreading those skills out a little to maintain 100% uptime on it. Soul Barbs just requires you to enter and exit Shroud every 15 seconds, which is very easy to do. For the opener, we're starting with Greatsword 4 and 5 and cast the Shroud You Are All Weaklings in between. Then cast Well of Darkness and Well of Suffering and enter Shroud. The worlds are a little bit wonky in casting sometimes, so make sure that you cast them both before going into Shroud. In Shroud, watch the Relic buff. When it is about to run out, cast Shroud 4. Then do one auto attack chain and cast Shroud 5 and leave Shroud. Outside of Shroud, use Greatsword 2 and 3 and You Are All Weaklings on cooldown. Above 50% enemy health, you should complete one full auto attack chain outside of Shroud, which recharges Greatsword 2. When Shroud has around 3 seconds of its cooldown left, start casting the opener again and enter Shroud. Rinse and repeat until 50% enemy health. Then replace auto attacks outside of Shroud with Greatsword 2, as it will recharge itself on hit. In case you have life force issues, use your Soulless Mind, the heal skill. You can squeeze it in once per loop for a massive gain to life force at the cost of a small amount of damage. Make sure to use Shroud 3 for times with high incoming damage. That will allow you to pump through damage even in Shroud and give stability in case you need it. UCC skills are Shroud 5, the second cast of Shroud 3 and the Flesh Golem charge. The Flesh Golem skill does massive break by damage so keep it for CC. In case you don't need CC you can exchange the Golem for Lich Form and use skill 4 in Lich Form prior to the opener for even more burst damage. This rotation is very simple to execute, does great damage and has insane cleave. Once you learn how to manage life force, it's a lot of fun to play in instance content. That's it for today, feel free to like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. I hope this video was insightful for you and made you want to try Power Reaper. See you next time and happy soul reaping!